that I wanted to show you are the common mistakes people do when using these diagrams. So one day I was asked if this is the volumetric flow rate and I'm using a impeller of eight and a half inches or I don't know maybe I'm working 72.5 percent efficiency what is the head of my system and it should be very obvious guys that you need to do a vertical line to the left but this guy told me why shouldn't I follow this line right here I told him that's not normal to do you normally use this line for the diameter or the pump curve but in order to calculate or see the system head you need to go directly to the left not follow this line this line is for the operation curve for this specific diameter actually this 300 will be for a volumetric flow rate of zero working with these inches so just keep that in mind guys the actual answer is 240 not 300 so never forget that and as well with the power requirements don't don't mix with the lines of efficiency maybe this, this, this let me create sometimes you find very clear lines but sometimes you find lines that are not that clear so just be sure for example these lines one line goes through here and other line goes through here so we just be sure to follow the line correctly this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.